guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to the final episodes of season three of Minami Case. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 11 in three, two, one, go. Oh. Okay, now how much you want to bet Kana is not going to give that to her? Oh, girl in the back, Dallas, of course. Well, I mean, just be yourself, even though you don't really like yourself like that, but just really talk to him. It really was. <laughs> No, no, like, you know, journalist, yeah. <laughs> right, right, but it's obvious, like, we all know that he likes her, but Kana is Kana, and she can't read the room. He's a boy. Baby, just be yourself. You got this. I have to stop daydreaming because she's over here picking her ear. <laughs> Did you just... Thank you. 
Yeah, I was about to say. I don't know how the hell I have this burst of energy. <laughs> it's almost 11 o'clock. I'm tired. I want to go to bed, but I got to get this done. <laughs> Honestly, no. I just want to lay down. And I did that for like a good hour, but I didn't sleep. That could be good for you. Yeah. Yes. You know, she would be the scene, seem like the type of girl be like, oh my God, okay, you know, we're going. But I need you to make up some mysterious world in this that you had today. Like, maybe you went to gym, you were like, oh my God, my tummy. Uh, and then you stay home. Did you just wash the, the bathtub? I thought you were going to take a bath. I mean, well, at least everything's going well for now, you know. You guys got him a towel just in case it's so cute. Oh my god, Fujioka. Dirty pervert thoughts. Dull. Because you're a boy.
Well, yeah, but he didn't use the bath. He actually just showered. There you go. Oh, no. Oh, dang, you all right? Sure, Hana. What's wrong? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Okay, what's your score? Video go. I love her mind. I love her positivity because she is just trying her damn hardest. Nice. Okay, that's not bad. That's not like Kana, but still, 97 is a good. Didn't she tell the girl that she she got a 47? <laughs> that it is. They're just numbers, babe.
Not the seductor pants, girl. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Girlie, in your dreams, babe. Did you do? What'd you get? See, kinda kinda puts on this little facade thinking that, you know, she she's like, Yes, I'm I'm not that very smart. But when it comes to test taking, she's smart. She pays attention, but in her own way. Ah, uh -uh, that mm, something about that. I'm like that's a little fishy. But no, their cute little study party was adorable. Even though, yes, three out of the four of them all just did showers <laughs> indirectly after each other. <laughs> but God, I... Kana. Taking a bath in the hot, with the hot peppers, girl. What did you think was going to happen? Girlie, that is, that, okay. So, think about it. That That's not only hot water, but the, f like, the, not the seasoning, like the, the freaking, se the, mm, the flavoring of marinated chilies or peppers, hot chili peppers in boiling hot bath water. What did you think was going to happen to your body? Girl. That was a dig. <laughs> oh. It's only because you want chocolate, Kana.
you know, I, I could not be Chiaki because, once again, <laughs> Chiaki going to beat the crap out of her sister. Well, yeah, you're here. Mm hmm To everybody? Right? Oh, baby. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. Why do I feel like she might give it a Fujioka? Or Makoto. Makoto. Chocolate. See? You know, I, I thought the indirect kiss was bad because, you know, everybody's like, oh my God. But we, we just went a whole nother level today. Indirect baths. Even though, like I said, at the end of the day, all three of them use the shower. So, you know, indirect bath slash shower and such. You never would think. Kiss, I get that because let's freak out about that. But shower? Shower. I learn a lot of things from this show. I really do. <laughs> I really fucking do. I, I mean, okay. But yeah, once again, Kana over here, you know, let me play the dum dum, but you know, secretly pay attention. I do good on my tests. So like, it, no, because see, it does make you wonder how the hell Kana would do on a college exam. We have to see that one day. Go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 12. Okay, episode 12. Hello, guys. <laughs> All right, episode 12 in 3, 2, 1, go. Come here, baby boy. Come here. Oh, you're so heavy. Are you comfy? <laughs> All three of you.
Not the bear, Chiaki. <laughs> oh, there you go, like a little pet hog. Cody. <laughs> Cody. <laughs> really big boy. Oh, you big baby. <laughs> but up. That means you're next. Now. So what's it going to be, Chiaki? <laughs> okay, you want to get down? Cody, don't do it. Let me help you, please, before you hurt yourself. No, 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 no. There you go. Oh, my gosh. My, I love him to death. My baby boy. He's like, no, give me. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I miss the days when I had nothing to do. I do. Now I'm just so freaking busy that I just want to always take a nap. Huh? What you do? You sleep on? No, I, I just think you're probably, you probably sleepwalk. That's okay. <laughs> you be like that one lady on TikTok. <laughs> Wakes up in the middle of the night, does her little grumbling laugh, and goes into the kitchen to get something to eat. Okay, nothing's really happening. They're just sleeping. I hope that's washable marker. They just put he man. <laughs> They're so cute.
Oh. <laughs> I'm so bad. It's the same. <laughs> it's my baby. I'm sorry. Kana, you're just going to be the same old person. It's hot okay. Because Kana put it on the table. It's both of your faults. She's gonna kill both of y'all. Yes, sew the crap out of it. You need to tell her. Just say it was an accident. You sure? I would have just said, hey, accidentally cut your skirt. He notices. He's just not saying anything. No, 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 no,
you know she really wanted to beat the crap out of those two. Been like, hey, yo, you should have just told me that you accidentally cut my skirt. The problem would have been solved so freaking quickly. Nobody would have got their feelings hurt. All would have been okay in the world. But no, here we are. A ruined skirt. A thread pulled. Hanukkah just exposed. Embarrassment. Because if that happened to me, or any of my girlfriends, or any friend that I know, how in the world could I come back to school the next day? I couldn't do it. No. So moral of the story of today's lesson, you guys. Always tell the person, hey, I accidentally did it. I know you're mad, but we got to find a way to fix it. Don't go several days without telling them. Tell them right then and there so that they can be upset with you right then and there. It's a win-win. I mean, but kinda, you, you, you are the idiot of the three. Yeah, you can be smart sometimes in your own special way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just go ahead and eat it. This is never going to end. Oh, my God.
Anna. <laughs> oh my god, girl, no. <laughs> You're like, I'm gonna go sleep in the living room tonight. Or, you know, Haraka, can I sleep in your room? Can I sleep with you? I feel bad for these two. Like, yes, the nap. But Maki. Not once, but twice, my girl. Permanent pot. No, well, not even permanent marker. Washable marker. And just markings all over her face. But it, typically, that always happens to the first ones that always fall asleep. Um, that has never happened to me, even though I'm t typically... I used to be kind of the first one who would fall asleep because um, typically on Fridays when I was in middle school, I had like other things to do when I got home. So that is not only my homework, but then like any other things, walking my dogs, the typical things. So like anytime when I would go over a sleepover and such, I would be knocked out at least by like 12, 1 o'clock at the latest. Sometimes I could like even now, depending on my mood and such. And if I have coffee in the middle of the night or, yeah, like coffee, I wake something or a soda to just kind of like kick my energy up and wake me up. I can do an all-nighter. I have done it. I try not to do it as much now because, woo, <laughs> nine out of ten, I if I do an all-nighter and let's say I go to sleep around the time when my mom comes home from work, um, I will probably not wake back up until about a good... I want to say 10 o'clock, maybe 11 or 12. So like, yeah, like I'll say 10 o'clock. No, yeah, I'll say 10 o'clock, but I probably won't get up until about a good 12, one o'clock. So you will not like physically see me until one o'clock in the afternoon because I don't want to get out of my bed. Even on my days off, like I will wake up sometimes eight, nine, ten o'clock in the morning, but I will not physically, me and Cody will not physically come out of my room until about one o'clock. Now... If I'm like, all right, come on, Cody, let's go outside, then yeah, you might see me at a good 8 o'clock. Other than that, you ain't seeing me till 1 o'clock. <laughs> I'm a night owl, so psh, regardless. But got him pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for the final episode of Season 3. Okay, final episode in 3, 2, 1. Yeah, how that's feeling some type of way. Well, did you hear the sigh? Now she's walking up, getting up, leaving the room. Something's on her mind. Yeah, dum dum, what you do?
Well, it's not dinner or breakfast, so. Why don't you just ask her? Maybe it's her birthday, or maybe she's just stressed about Tess. Whatever it is, it's not good in her situation, you know? Oh, yeah, you looked like you were just worried about a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, that's fine. Girl, she pulling the hell out of her chair. <laughs> no, Chiaki. Oh, my God. It's not really. She just has a bad tooth, honey. Problem solved, kind of.
Okay. 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 Did she cuddle with her? If so, that's so cute. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> it's so cute. Chiaki. <laughs> Girl, are you serious? <laughs> Stop it. It's so adorable. It's just like the cutest moment that these two have like kind of bonded in a way. I mean, it's only because Shiagi had a bad dream about Kana, but that's so cute. Oh, she's not there. She's about to have a panic attack.
I have a bad feeling about this. I mean, you shouldn't be saying that, about, <laughs> saying that, Chiaki. You was all over Kana in the previous moment. She probably came home and she's in your bedroom. Kinda got a cell phone, right? Why don't y'all just call her?
<laughs> Damn. <laughs> See, there's Kana. So, what took so long? Ah. <laughs> well. Wow. I think this was a good season. This was, there were moments where it was very chill, but otherwise it was a very interesting season. With everything that all transpired, especially in these last three ops, like, some of them I was like, what the fuck did I just watch after I finished the episodes and such? But no, it was still a damn good time. Once again, I love these three so freaking much and that I got to really see them grow once again and even though the next season is technically our last like I'm excited for it still even though it was like it sometimes like the show got a little too repetitive but in a good way but I had to like kind of take a break from it and then come back to it but it was still fun it's still interesting it's still hilarious at the same at the end of the day but Kana Kana is Kana at the end of the day I feel for her because she had Rico has not even like she her her relationship with Fujioka has gone up a little teeny tiny bit, not a lot, but just a bit. <laughs> I don't even know what else to say, but all of these characters truly grew. They're not the same type of characters that we saw at the end of the previous season. And I'm proud of that. This was a good season. Faults and all. But yeah, Miss Kana, next time, make sure you pay attention to what the heck you're writing. Of course, he always is about to like get nude every five minutes. But no, this was good. And besides, if Kana was ever leaving, like, I, I cannot imagine this show. <laughs> okay. There's the fan service for, like, a good minute. Oh, my God.
Was that by the same series creator? Because that just took me out for a moment. <laughs> but, okay. <laughs> but uh, I think at the same time, I don't know. Let me check real quick. Um, Give me one second. So, let's see. Let me minimize this. Open up another menu. Minami. Okay. Because we're on. We just finished Okaidi. So, I think I have one more season left before I'm done. I'm not 100% sure, but, like, there, there is four seasons, so. Oh, season one. Okay, nope. Yeah, that one. Okaidi is three. There's an OVA, and there's two OVA episodes, and then there is Tadaima. And I think they just want me to do the regular ones, not really the OVAs and such, so yeah, Tadaima which will be the fourth and final season. So yeah, it, it is a little sad and bittersweet because like I do enjoy the show a lot. Maybe um the person possibly, uh, maybe in the future might maybe want me to do like a one off or probably when I do finish the final season of this show, maybe I might just say like one random day I'll do the one off episodes which are just two OVA episodes just to get it done. But no, this was a really interesting season with every little challenges these three had to face. Even with this last episode of just the, like, the fact is, first, Chiaki has a bad dream about Kana, and so she's all up on Kana, and then Kana goes to sleep, and she has a bad dream about Haruka, and she's like, nope, I gotta spend time. That was really sweet. That was, like, the cutest little sisterly moment and such. Then Chiaki, <laughs> Chiaki and Haruka, because Kana left. And with the note and everything, because she was going to go take those two, walk those two home, and then also go to the convenience, but also is gone for a long ass time. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, she's run away from home. Oh my god, I should have had her do this is X, Y, and Z. Oh my god, because like in a way, Kana is the glue that holds them all together. So without Kana, there really is no show. But it's, seriously, I cannot imagine this show without all three. It's very similar to how I felt with other shows of when they take out certain characters or actors and everything. And it's like, how can you continue the show if these actors and these characters that are portrayed by, once again, these actors, um, are the reason why this show is so popular. And so when you either write them off, kill them off, whatever and such, or they leave on their own accord, the show's not the same. You get that feeling, right? But that's what it would feel like. It just wouldn't feel like the same thing, especially if it's two of them. They're like, we're looking at the wacky adventures of all three. Just saying. But other than that, guys, that's my reaction to towards the season three. Well, really, all of season three of me and I'm okay. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for everybody else and next Saturday for Patreons for the start of the final season. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!